all right dear children uh, welcome back to the class in this video we'll uh, discuss this uh, samuel class 10th fa2 maths question paper all right i mean you have all this uh, fa1 fa2 and all right so all those question papers of different schools in mudol so whatever school and colleges are there whatever school and colleges are there in mudol so uh, they'll be conducting different tests uh, all those uh, test series uh, different schools whatever uh, tests and all they are conducting usually feedback uh, of those uh, test answers and all uh, those uh, things will be done from kalpuruksha classes uh, from this uh, kalpuruksha classes uh, youtube channel so we are going to solve all those questions papers from different institutions all right so today's target is in this video samuel school class 10th fa2 maths question paper all right so without uh, wasting much of our time let's get started so uh, all students must be having all this question paper but still i'll write those questions the first question is if sine of a minus b is equal to 0 0.5 then a minus b is all right and uh, they have given the options also a b c d and the options are 30 degree 60 degree 45 degree and 90 degree all right this is a quite a simple question what is the given data sine of a minus b is equal to 0 0.5 right uh, so sine uh, we know that sine 30 degree is equal to 1 by 2 right and 0 0.5 is nothing but 1 by 2 only all right so uh, you can compare this and you can say that a minus b is equal to 30 degree all right so that's why which option becomes correct now a is equal to 30 degree means uh, option a is the correct answer all right uh, moving forward uh, let us get into the second question let us have a look at the second question now the second question is sine square 40 degree plus cos square 40 degree is all right uh, the options are uh, 0 1 minus 1 and none of the above all right so let us have a look at this question now you don't know the value of sine square 40 and cos square 40 but we have one identity what is that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 all right so that's why i mean uh, theta uh, if the angle is same look at this here also we have 40 degree and here also 40 degree so therefore this answer is going to be 1 so option b is the right answer for this all right so this is the right option now let us uh, get on to the third question third question is uh, like this value of sine 30 degree plus uh, cos 30 degree minus tan square 45 degree is all right so options are first option is minus 1 plus root 3 divided by 2 option b 1 plus uh, root 3 divided by 2 option c minus 1 minus root 3 divided by 2 option d 1 plus uh, root 3 divided by minus 2 all right so these are the four options uh, let me solve it here only what is the value of sine 30 sine 30 is 1 by 2 plus uh, cos 30 means sine 60 sine 60 means root 3 by 2 minus tan square 45 uh, tan 45 is 1 and tan square 45 means 1 square 1 square is nothing but this value is nothing but 1 only so let me write it 1 directly and the denominator is 1 so therefore the lcm is going to be 2 so that is going to be 2 ones are 2 ones are and 1 2 za so it becomes 1 plus root 3 minus 2 all right so 1 minus 2 i mean you can write it as 1 minus 2 is minus 1 then plus root 3 divided by 2 or uh, this also can be written as uh, root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 so among these any one answer is correct all right so minus 1 uh, plus root 3 divided by 2 look at this this is the answer what we have all right so minus 1 plus root 3 divided by 2 so this seems correct 1 plus uh, root 3 of course this is wrong and minus 1 minus root 3 no and this is also wrong all right so this is the right option what we have got all right moving on moving on to the fourth question fourth question is like this value of value of 1 plus tan square 30 degree divided by 1 plus uh, cot square 30 degree is options are given here what are those the options are 0 0.33 option b is a 0 0.44 option c is a 0 0.55 and option d 0 0.66 all right uh, let us try to understand this 
I mean, uh, rather than substituting the values, uh, you know that, no? So, 1 plus tan square theta is a secant square theta. Directly, you can write it as secant square 30 degree. All right? Then, divided by means you can directly write divided by here also. The divided by symbol can be written like this also. 1 plus cot square 30. 1 plus cot square theta is a cosecant square theta. So, that's why directly you can write it as a cosecant square 30 degree. Are you understanding what I am writing here? Alright, so this is the identity. We are taking help of this identity. 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta and 1 plus cot square theta is cosecant square theta. We are taking help of that. Then afterwards, uh, secant square 30, you can remember cos 30, no? So secant 30 means you have to remember cos 30. Cos 30 means sin 60. Sin 60 is, what is that, root 3 by 2 and it becomes 2 by root 3 whole square. Alright, this logic, once you have learned the introduction to trigonometry from me, you must be getting into these logics because, I mean, if you go into that table also, trigonometric table is also there, no? you get into that table and then you see you will get the same value. How I made this? Secant 30 means what you have to remember? You don't need to remember secant 30, you have to remember cos 30. Cos 30 means sin 60. Sin 60, what is the value? Sin 60, easily you can say root 3 by 2. So, reverse of that, that becomes 2 by root 3 whole square. So, this trick you have to use. Then, all divided by cosecant 30. What do you mean by cosecant 30? Cosecant 30 means sin 30, you remember. Sin 30 is 1 by 2 and cosecant 30 is 2. So, it becomes 2 square. Alright, so if you do this, it becomes 4 divided. 2 square means 4 and divided by root 3 whole square is 3. Then divided by 4 it becomes, uh, alright. So then afterwards I am going to have it as 4 by 3 into, so this is uh, 4, no? so it becomes 1 by 4. So divided by 1 will be there, it becomes uh, 1 by 4, 4, 4 get cancelled and the answer is 1 by 3. 1 by 3 means 0 0.33, look at this. So here is the right option, so that is 0 0.33, so this is the right option. Alright, uh, so this was a little tricky as in lengthy i mean we try to ma make it uh, very simple once you remember the uh, no ne uh, uh, no need to get into this table and all you have to remember these values by using some trick all right so moving on to the fifth question let us have a look at this fifth question what is this fifth question the fifth question is like this value of tan 40 degree into tan 36 degree into tan 50 degree into tan 54 degree is all right so here are four options one is minus one another is two and next one is one and next one is like zero all right uh, so definitely you don't know the values of 40 degree 36 degree and all tan you don't know so it is something related to complementary angle so tan 40 degree and tan 50 degree make them on one side and this uh, tan 36 degree and tan 54 degree you make them on another side all right so now this tan 40 degrees there you can write it as usual and this tan 50 degree can be written as tan of 90 degree minus 40 degree all right next i am going to write it as tan 36 degree and this uh, tan 54 degree can be written as uh, tan uh, 90 degree minus 36 degree all right so it becomes a uh, tan 40 degree into this uh, tan 90 minus 40 90 minus theta is cot theta no so it becomes cot 40 degree then afterwards I am going to have tan 36 degree, tan of 90 minus theta is a cot theta so that's why it becomes cot 36 degree. Then it becomes a tan 40 degree into cot 40 is 1 by tan 40. Alright, then uh, again I am going to have into tan 36 degree into cot 36 degree can be written as 1 over tan 36 degree. Alright, so once you have seen that uh, they all get cancelled and uh, what remains here 1. So 1 is the right option. So this is the right option what we are going to get all right so this was from the first main so all these mcqs were given so whatever i have done uh, so these are the mcqs uh, from the first main so this is how you have to solve it uh, otherwise by solving uh, better to solve the question and write the option that will be better and uh, let us get started with uh, this second main all right so this uh, second main what is this six question they have given six question in your answer sheet you are supposed to write only answers but uh, uh, it will be of uh, use to everyone no? so that's why i'm writing these uh, questions also so six one is like this angle of depression angle of depression of a car of a car from top of a building from top of a building is 45 degree okay if if height of the building is if height of the 
building is if height of the building is 80 meter 80 meter find distance of the car find distance of the car from foot of the building all right from foot of the building other school people also you can get a use from this so your school paper will also be solved no need to worry about that angle of depression of a car from top of a building is 45 degree that means uh, here is the i mean road there is a building like this all right so here is the building so let me name this building as ab so what is this ab ab is nothing but a building just show that in the diagram itself all right uh, now what is this angle of depression of a car from top of a building is 45 degree that means uh, i mean here is a car okay here is the car now angle of depression you understand the angle of depression now for example the person is seeing this car like this all right now the person is seeing this car like this now what is the angle of depression angle of depression you must be having idea no so if you draw one line here like this so this is called as angle of depression so this is like uh, 45 degree they are saying all right then after i hope you understood this this is 45 means this is also 45 degree all right so you know this uh, this dotted line and this line they are this okay sir this uh, i'm sorry there was some disturbance so this uh, dotted line and this line they are uh, parallel to each other no so that's why this angle also will get it as 45 degree and this uh, ab is like what is height of this building this is like uh, 80 meter no so height of the building is like 80 meter now they are asking uh, i mean uh, what is this find distance of the car from foot of the building correct so distance of this uh, car from foot of the building this ac they are asking all right so let me write that so ac is equal to question mark all right this is a uh, quite a simple case no so this is 90 degree you can uh, easily observe the triangle in a right triangle what is that triangle abc in right triangle abc so i am going to use it as tan 45 degree so tan 45 degrees equal to it becomes ab divided by uh, ab divided by ac right opposite divided by adjacent so that's why it becomes ab by ac tan 45 degree is 1 and AB is like 80 meter and AC we don't know. Then I'm going to send AC this side. AT is, AC is equal to 80 meter. So this distance is like 80 meter. So you are going to write it as therefore distance of the car, distance of the car from foot of the tower, from foot of the tower is equal to AC is equal to 80 meter. All right. This was a quite a simple question. Let us uh, move on to this uh, seventh question. What is this seventh question? Seventh question is like this. If sine of A minus B is equal to 0 0.5 and sine of A plus B is equal to 1, find the value of, find the value of angles A and B. Okay. Let us solve this question. What is this question? Let us take this question. This is as sine of A minus B is equal to 0 0.5, right? So this 0 0.5 is nothing but 1 by 2 again. All right. So we know that uh, sine 30 degrees is equal to what is there? 1 by 2 is there. So that's why we can write it as A minus B is equal to 30 degree. Let me call it as equation number 1. All right. Then similarly, uh, it is given that uh, sine of A plus B is equal to what is there? 1 is there. And we know that sine 90 degrees equal to what is there? 1. Therefore, by comparing this, look at this. Here also sine, here also sine. I can easily write A plus B is equal to 90 degree. Let me call it as equation number 2. Alright. Now, it is time for us to solve 1 and 2. Let us solve 1 and 2. So, what are those equations? They are like A minus B is equal to 30 degree. This is equation number 1. And next equation is A plus B is equal to 90 degree. This is equation number 2. I am going to solve them. Now look at this, uh, this is minus P and this is plus B, of course they will get cancelled. Alright, we have to add them. No need to mention that, directly minus B plus B they will get cancelled. A plus A, how much is that? 2A and that is equal to 90 plus 30 is 120 degree. So then I am going to get A is equal to 120 degree divided by 2. So A is like 2 ones are 2 6 are then 0. So A is equal to 60 degree. Alright, so let me call it as equation number 3. Then I will put this uh, equation number 3 in equation number 1. Alright. What is the equation number 1? Here is the equation number 1. A minus B is equal to 30 degree. So A minus B is equal to 
30 degree a is like 60 degree minus b is equal to 30 degree i am going to send that b that side so 60 degree minus 30 degree is equal to b so i will get b is equal to 30 degree so angle a is 60 and angle b is 30 degree all right uh, so this was uh, mixed with a pair of linear equation in two variables but uh, this is a very standard question and definitely you should be able to do this if it is asked in the annual exam also all right then moving forward uh, let us look at this uh, eighth question if tan a is equal to root 3 and tan b is equal to 1 by root 3 all right now they are asking us to find the value of find the value of cot of a plus b all right let us uh, do this tan a is equal to what is given root 3 and we know that uh, tan 60 degree is equal to what is there root 3 is there you must be knowing this then by comparing this i can say that a is equal to 60 degree correct the value of a is 60 degree similarly tan b is equal to what is there 1 by root 3 is there and we know that tan 30 degree is equal to 1 by root 3 by comparing this uh, both is this and this so we can say that b is equal to 30 degree all right now what they are asking they are asking us to find cot of a plus b all right so cot of a plus b is equal to cot of what is a 60 degree what is b 30 degree all right so it becomes cot 90 degree now uh, you should know what is cot 90 degree i mean you know about tan 90 right so tan 90 is equal to sin 90 by cos 90 sin 90 is 1 and cos 90 is 0 so 1 by 0 and reverse of this is uh, i mean cot 90 is cot 90 what will be the value of cot 90 that is like 0 by 1 so that's why answer becomes 0 so therefore cot of a plus b is going to be 0 so you should be knowing all these values this is very very important yes, all right anyway moving on to the ninth question let us have a look at this ninth question evaluate evaluate sine square 39 degree plus sine square 51 degree plus 1 plus a tan square 30 degree all right so uh, i mean we have to find this value so let me write down that that is a question no sine square 39 degree plus a sine square 51 degree plus a, and this 1 plus tan square 30 degree is there it can, can it be written as a secant square 30 degree yes of course why because uh, uh, before also i told you so what is that 1 plus tan square theta is equal to what will come secant square theta no so that's why secant square 30 all right look at this uh, definitely 39 and 51 uh, we don't know and uh, they are complementary so how we can do this 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 can be done as sine square 39 degree plus sine square of this 51 can be written as 90 degree minus 39 degree just observe that okay plus a secant square 30 degrees there will substitute that value also so it becomes sine square 39 degree just observe this okay dear children okay if any doubt is there then please clarify this 90 minus 39 is 51 all right then uh, sine square sine of 90 minus theta is cos theta correct so cos 39 degree and square is that that's why square also come two times it is there no? so that's fine plus uh, let me write secant square 13 now also like that only so now sine square 39 plus cos square 39 means what is this one no all right are you understanding what i am saying dear children so this value sine square theta plus cos square theta is one plus uh, again secant 30 means you have to remember cos 30 cos 30 means sine 60 sine 60 is root 3 by 2 and reverse of that is 2 by root 3 whole square all right if you don't know this trick then go to the playlist introduction to trigonometry complete lecture then you will get to know about all that then it becomes 1 plus 4 divided by 3 2 square is 4 and root 3 whole square is 3 and here uh, the remainder i mean denominator is uh, 1 lcm is 3 it becomes 1 3 is a and 3 1 is a it becomes 3 plus 4 3 plus 4 is like 7 7 by 3 so the answer is going to be 7 by 3 all right fine then so moving on to this uh, tenth question let us have a look at this uh, tenth question if x is equal to a cos theta minus b sin theta and y is equal to a sin theta plus b cos theta then prove that then prove that 
ए स्क्वेर प्लस बी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर ऑल राइट लेट अस हैव ए लुक एट दिस क्वेश्चन लेट अस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस दे हैव गिवन सम वैल्यू एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए कॉस सीटा माइनस बी साइन थीटा एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू ए साइन थीटा प्लस बी कॉस थीटा एंड दे आर आस्किंग अस टू प्रूव ए स्क्वेर प्लस बी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू आई मीन गेटिंग दिस ए एंड बी आउट इज ए बिग ट्रबल फॉर अस ऑल राइट हियर ऑल्सो ए एंड बी हियर ऑल्सो ए एंड बी but this side we have x square plus uh, y square no i mean x square plus y square now x is known y is known directly we can just uh, square them and add them it becomes quite simple no so let us start start this answer from rhs every time we start it from lhs no but uh, this time let us start it from rhs and let us re reach at lhs then also it becomes correct so what is rhs x square plus y square all right so what is this uh, x square x means what is there look at this x means it is given what is that a cos theta minus b sin theta all right then all square and because x square is there then plus y means what is there y means look at this here is the y value that is a sin theta plus b cos theta then it is going to be all square all right so uh, then let us solve this it, it's going to take more space there that's why i just came little bit to left here All right. So a minus b whole square means it becomes a square. A square means a cos theta whole square plus b square means b sin theta whole square minus two ab means two a cos theta into b sin theta. All right. So that is uh, minus two ab. Then plus I am going to write it as a sin theta whole square. That is like uh, again a plus b whole square. A square plus b square means b cos theta whole square plus two ab means two a sin theta into two a sin theta into b cos theta. All right. Now look at these two terms, dear children. Look at them. Look at them. They are same, no? Two a cos theta b sin theta. This is two a sin theta b cos theta. One and the same, no? I mean, uh, let us rub this uh, bracket also. Uh, we are not in need of this. try to understand this dear children i mean just look at them one is plus another is minus and exactly they look same correct two is there two is there a is there a is there then cos theta is there cos theta is there p is there b is there sin theta sin theta, everything same so that's why they cancel each other all right then afterwards uh, we are remaining with a cos theta whole square means a square cos square theta plus b sin theta whole square is b square sin square theta Plus a sin theta whole square means a square sin square theta. Then b cos theta whole square means b square cos square theta. All right. Uh, so now look at this. Uh, this is like a square cos square theta. Along with this, uh, can I take this a square sin square theta? All right. Then afterwards, uh, look at this uh, b square sin square theta is there. Here it is. Then along with that, I can take this uh, b square cos square theta. All right. So then I am going to write it as a square. I mean, in this two, a square is common. Then afterwards, I will have cos square theta plus sine square theta plus b square. I have taken common. Then in the bracket, sine square theta plus cos square theta. I have done. Then a square bracket cos square theta plus sine square theta is one plus b square bracket sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. So I am going to have a square into one is a square plus b square into one is b square. So which is equal to LHS. Don't don't write it as RHS because we have started the journey from RHS. Then we have reached at LHS. All right. So we have proved it. So I am going to write it as hence proved. All right. Uh, this was a uh, quite a simple question, uh, but we got to know about that. Then we have a third main. In the third main, we have this eleventh question. Let us write this question. The horizontal distance. the horizontal distance between two poles between two poles is 15 meter okay there are two poles horizontal distance is 15 meter now next data is the angle of the angle of depression the angle of depression of the top of first pole top of first pole as seen from as seen from top of second pole is 30 degree try to understand this uh, this is uh, quite important all right 
look at this the horizontal distance between two poles is 15 meter that means there are two poles and distance between them is 15 meter that's quite simple from this statement we got to know that then afterwards the angle of depression of the top of first pole that means angle of depression of top of first pole means i mean first pole we are watching it as seen from second pole as seen from top of second pole that means the second pole is a little longer from that we are observing from top of the second pole we are observing top of the first pole that's what they are saying and the angle of depression is 30 degree please try to observe this question one more time what is this the angle of depression of top of the first pole as seen from top of the second pole from the second pole we are seeing the first pole for the top that is there that is for sure okay that is mentioned and that angle of depression is 30 degree all right then they have given if height of the if height of the second pole if height of the second pole is 24 meter find height of the find height of the first pole okay please read this question very carefully i will explain you how, how it is how you have to analyze it now definitely there is a ground here okay i am going to have one pole here this is a first pole correct so this is the first pole i'm going to have and this is a second pole correct so let me name it as ab ab as the first pole and cd as the second pole you can write that so ab means what is this this is the first pole and what is this uh, dc so i mean dc or cd this is a second pole all right and second pole height is given so they have mentioned what is that uh, height of the second pole is 24 meter all right so we are going to write it as cd is equal to 24 meter which we are going to use now from top of this pole i mean we are observing this pole that this this point look at this we are observing this like this now then we are going to have some angle of depression here no so this angle of depression what they are saying so this is like 30 degree they are saying now that 30 degrees of no use to us so that's why i draw one more line here look at this I draw one more line here then I will call this as E this point as E all right so now this angle become 30 degree all right and this AC so what is this AC A and C means distance between the poles no so this is like 15 meter so AC is 15 meter and BE this is also 15 meter all right so you can write that also AC is equal to this one AC means this point A all right so AC means these points, please remember AC, A to C, okay, and BE means B to E here, okay, these two distances are there, no, so AC and BE, how many are they, so they are like uh, 15 meter, alright, now they are asking height of the first fold, I mean AB is equal to question mark, AB equal to question mark, that's what they are asking, now finding this AB, it becomes quite difficult task for us but uh, finding this ce look at this ce and ab both are same no so if you find out this ce this distance then uh, definitely we are going to get ab that is for sure so you have to get such logics all right this is cd is there no so this uh, entire cd is like 24 meters so this is this one this entire cd from here to here so how much is this so this is like 24 meter this entire thing all right so you know about this already i have written that but in this uh, can you find out this de just observe can you find out this de or not yes definitely you can find out this de how you are going to do that now can you observe this triangle which triangle i am talking about in triangle bde can you observe this triangle bde look at this triangle bde in bde if you apply tan 30 degree if you apply tan 30 degree what it becomes it becomes de divided by be right opposite divided by adjacent de divided by b it becomes and tan 30 this is b okay so tan 30 is 1 by root 3 then de divided by this be be is like 15 meter look at this 15 then i'm going to have this de so de is equal to how much it becomes it becomes 15 divided by root 3 meter all right so de is equal to 15 divided by root 3 so this distance this much distance is there no so this is like 15 divided by root 3 meter all right so this entire length this entire length is how much is this this is like 24 meter in that if you remove this you are going to get this so what is this value this so this is going to be 24 minus 15 by root 3 meter 24 minus 15 divided by root 3 all right so i am going to get that as ec okay so look at that ec is equal to what it becomes it becomes cd minus ed 
सी डी माइनस ई डी ऑब्जर्व दिस ई सी ई सी मीन्स दिस डिस्टेंस ई टू सी दिस डिस्टेंस इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गेट दिस मच डिस्टेंस सो दैन फ्रॉम दिस एंटायर डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम सी टू डी ओके आई हैव टू माइनस दिस डी टू ई और ई टू डी ऑल राइट सो ऑलरेडी आई हैव गिवन दैट लॉजिक सो दैट इज गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस फिफ्टीन डिवाइडेड बाय रूट थ्री ऑल राइट ट्वेंटी फोर डिवाइड बाई फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस फिफ्टीन बाय रूट थ्री सो हियर इज द वन then i am going to have root 3 so it is going to be 1 into root 3 and root 3 into 1 so it becomes 24 root 3 minus 15 all right uh, now 24 root 3 divided by uh, uh, minus 15 divided by root 3 means so it is irrational so that's why you have to rationalize it so ec is equal to how to do that 24 root 3 minus 15 divided by root 3 into root 3 divided by root 3 All right, so then I am going to get E C is equal to. Now these things have to be multiplied, so that is like a twenty four root three into root three minus fifteen root three divided by. I mean, you know this basic calculations, no? Twenty. Uh, look at this. Uh, this twenty four root three has to be multiplied with root three, so that's why I have written twenty four root three into root three. Then minus fifteen into root three, so that's why minus fifteen into root three, and root three into root three is three. All right. So uh, then, basic calculations uh, we are going to do that. So E C is equal to how much is that? Twenty four into root three into root three is three minus it becomes fifteen root three then divided by three. All right. So E C is equal to how much it becomes? It becomes twenty four into three is like, uh, or you can just I mean uh, do this twenty four into three divided by three. Minus fifteen root three divided by three, so then it becomes three three get cancelled three ones are three fives are then E C is equal to I am going to get it as twenty four minus five root three, so these many meters, all right? So these many meters, so this is the answer. I mean E C E C is there, no? So this E C whatever E C we have here, for example, this is the E C E to C, same is the value of B A or A B. So I am going to Mention that also, so that uh, E C is equal to E B. So therefore, I am going to write E B is equal to twenty four minus five root three meter. All right. So therefore, I'll mention therefore height of the height of the first pole is equal to E B is equal to twenty four minus five root three. Meter. All right, dear children. Uh, I think uh, this session was quite useful for you. You can uh, see the time. Now the video is almost like thirty two and half minutes. Okay, so I have written all the questions also. All questions I have written and all the solutions I have done with explanation. So this has uh, taken only thirty two minutes of time. So now in the examination you will be having almost like sixty minutes. Then you should be able to do it very easily. All right, dear children. So, like this, uh, for every school, whichever uh, schools are there in uh, Mudol, so all those uh, test series, whatever test series they are going to conduct, I am going to upload all those papers. All right, dear children. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Uh, and if you have uh, enjoyed the video, then uh, like it. If it was useful, then uh, share it uh, among your friends. Uh, and definitely comment uh, what did you feel about the video and. Uh, which school test series you want me to solve and uh, without fail subscribe to the channel so that uh, the good work reaches everyone all right uh, thank you very much uh, have a good day and bye bye